Alrighty, let's play this in full here. We got more fire. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Cute. I think since you're adding more fire, you might as well add more fire here. Give them really a reason for that. Even here, just a bit more. That's all cool. And then what's happening here? Yeah, that's cool. Watch out, there's a little bit of something where he jumps really high and kind of just kind of lands there. Feels like that much momentum going this way. You're you're initiating an arc. It would be maybe a bit more this way. I know this kind of unravels a few things, but I mean, you could potentially just make sure that that arc really continues. So when he's here, he's actually around here and just globally move that chair around, move that set piece around. You have to do too many changes. Then we have the chair going in there. You can see, okay, we see the, the level rising here. Yeah, I'm still wondering if there's something at the end, if you're open to something different than just holding on to this and then a look. I know this would unravel and add new things. I'm just wondering if that, or if, if you're okay with just ending it like that, where I mean, everything is on fire, he's about to die <laughs> unless he goes out there. But it could be something, I think last time I mentioned arms reaching out, maybe does this, maybe on that he would be looking up and on this actually be here trying to reach it. But even then, I, I mean, you could just do that. And when you do this, like the fire is here, this new fire appears and then he pulls his arm back to hold on to this more tightly. And then that's the end, you know, maybe something like that. I'm just wondering, just a little, uh, thinking out loud let me look at that seems pretty good what maybe a bit fast so it's not super stylized in its movement so i feel like just that moment through there those couple of frames where everything including chest and head are moving as one piece here what feels a bit fast i think i would really look at this is going to push first and there might be a slight drag on the chest and effort, some straightening and drag. And then as you get to here, like once that bodies are over here, then the body continues and goes forward as well to end up maybe here. If that makes sense, so you're like this, you push off, which brings that body back a bit through all of this. It's maybe more here. And then as this comes forward for a step, I mean, by now, like I said, then you hook up into what you have here. This is also slightly off balance there. There's something a bit odd. You go this way. I'm looking at the root. It's the change of direction, how... That's not too bad. I'm just looking at the, just that section on that turn. Maybe it's, maybe it's just the floppiness of the chest going back, but they're not really. Like you have a straightening and then it kind of stops and it doesn't continue to straighten or the head doesn't go up. It just kind of stops where then it goes forward. And especially that's the one I'm reacting the most to where if you look at those lines, it goes down, goes down, bam. One frame direction change where it feels like it hits a wall. And then here we're getting a bit where I wouldn't go as far. What's the other leg doing? Let's see. You take a step. So maybe with that step, you are more like this. And then on that turn, you start to turn, pivoting off the heel. But that foot will be maybe back here. So that when you go, whoa, because that foot is here, you will be a bit more balanced. This feels slightly off. I was always expecting that hand to go back here and push against the wall. And that push is what 
brings that route forward. Because right now, that is A, is, feels too fast, but also there's no way, if you're slightly behind this and your balance is off, how can that route go forward? Either you bring out that leg in the air and it's the weight of this that changes the balance, or that leg is enough this way to have a force pushing this way, or you are off balance and leave it the way it is, but then you do put your hand here to push off into that. That's all cool. I do like whoop that. I would still work on those arms as they land, kind of come down, but come straight up and then hit that wall here and go forward and then down and all that. Same thing in both. So it feels a bit wiggly and messy, hitting some harsh, harsh spacing there. I would soften that, maybe do some broader swings with those arms. Boom. And then again, watch out with root changes and body changes like that. It's quite the move up and forward, but then it kind of stops boom, right there. And then that change to the left is also a bit abrupt on that root. So just watch out for moments like that. Same thing here, actually. It's this here. Lifting this leg and then going this way, how is the root moving so far, so quickly this way without this leg helping with that push this way? Imagine if you're lifting just that leg, fall over. So now you're lifting this. There's no pressure on that leg. Everything has to come through that leg, but the balance is not enough to be over this leg to move over this way, if that makes sense. So I would have a reaction of, whoa, but keep that leg down here as much as you can. So that is a push, even just three, four frames. And then once you're around here and it's a bit more balanced and you got that momentum going this way, then you lift that leg into this. Again, we are very far over, almost off balance here. So if you go to the right, same thing here. We're so far. How is the body able, this root here, to go to the left while being so far off balance? So you have to just go not as far, maybe only this far, and then ease into that move back a bit more with the hips. And that's okay here. Maybe a bit fast. There's something where fast, but then a long hold, and then a fast jump, if you watch this in real time. I know to me, it feels like I would add a couple of frames, to, even if it's just three frames during this to slow this down a little bit, to put in a hold, to then jump, but then do what I mentioned last time. If I look at that root, the root goes up. I mainly see the root doing this versus that. And then, yeah, let me know what you want to do with the end or just leave it like that. I'm just curious if you're open to more changes from that. That's it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.